We've got a double Celine unboxing, so let's get into it. I've been known to be a tad superstitious at times, in particular around certain dates, whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, or just special dates in general. And now my husband and I, we just celebrated one of those superstitious anniversaries. Rather for us, whenever we have a new series of seven years that rolls around, we tend to commemorate it in some form or fashion, whether it's a big trip, maybe it's a big purchase. Well, this year we're kind of changing things up a little bit. Like he's doing some customization stuff on his car. Yeah, you know, he can have fun with that. Me on the other hand, I decided to purchase a couple new pieces from Celine. Now these two items Items do very much go hand in hand but I'm actually gonna start by unboxing this little one first and we'll keep the bag until the big reveal at the end but honestly as soon as you see this piece it'll give the bag away in a recent video I spoke about how I'm not really a huge fan of things like card holders or small other goods having things like metal embellishments on them just because of the fact that metal has a tendency of scratching things like say leather handbags or rather leather lined handbags or small other goods could potentially damage other items that you may be wearing at the time. Yeah, learn that lesson the hard way. So I wanted to purchase a card holder that I could use on those occasions when I wanted to say take out one of my bags that had leather lining and not have to worry about it getting super scratched up on the inside. So with this card holder from Celine, this is in shiny black calfskin. Yes, this is just perfect faction right here. It doesn't have any kind of hardware on it, front or back. There is an embellishment on the front, but rather it's in leather, so nothing is going to potentially damage any kind of handbag or really anything else because of this leather on leather. Now this giant triumph on the front is quite large in relation to the entire card holder. This is just in terms of dimensions, four inches by three inches, just throwing that out there. So this triumph is quite large, but the fact that it is black on black just makes it a tad bit more subtle. The one other thing I wanted to call out with this card holder, and this is not necessarily a negative, this is just more of a watch out, is the fact that you only have two card slots with this one. So looking here you have this slot here on the front and then this slot here on the back. Now you do of course have this little middle pocket here that you can put another card in if you wanted, but that's it. So you're really gonna be limited as far as what all you can fit inside of this card holder because looking at the profile, yeah, she's slim. She's slim. I would not advise double stuffing these pockets or these card slots. I know some people will try putting two, maybe three cards just to be able to accommodate what they need to carry. I would not do that with this. So just off of first impressions, just feeling the leather. I think if you do that, you're definitely going to stretch it out. You're going to ruin the integrity of the card holder. So I would definitely advise against that. If you're one that doesn't carry a whole lot or you're looking to really pare down to your bare essentials, in terms of your cards, this would be a really good one. So for me in particular, I purchased this, one, because there's no metal on the front of it, but also to take this traveling. So for me, I'm gonna be putting my ID on one side and then my business credit card on the back. So this is just very easy to grab and go for that use, but maybe you're looking to go out. Maybe you're wanting to go out for dinner, drinks, or just like go out, go out, and you don't wanna carry a ton of stuff with you. Put your ID on one side, your credit card, debit card, maybe fold up a couple bills and stick here in this middle section, tuck this in your back pocket and you're ready to go. Because again, of how thin the profile is, you could totally put this in your back pocket and it's just that much more user friendly that way. So definitely wanted to kind of just talk through those couple use cases. Again, if you carry a ton, I would go and check out some other options from Celine. They do have some other card holders, but if you don't carry a whole lot, I think this is a really good one. Now for me in particular, I did purchase this also because of this. Now I have to preface this unboxing by saying, or rather admitting, that I could not wait for recording this video. I have been eyeing up this style for such a long time that as soon as this arrived, I had to open it. I'm sorry guys, it's not in the box, it's already out, but I can say you're welcome for not having to sit through the actual unpackaging of this bag because of the just crazy amount of packaging that they put on this thing, like the protective plastic and bubble paper wrap stuff and tape and just all the things. Yeah, you didn't want to have to sit through that. But before the big reveal of this bag, the one thing, the first 
thing that, you know, in terms of a first impression review, the one thing that really caught my attention when I first opened the box was how ridiculous this dust bag is. Can we talk about this? Celine, what are y'all doing? Like, can we not get a dust bag to fully accommodate the size of this bag? I just like that. That was the first thing I was like, really? But you know what? I can let it slide. We'll, we'll forgive Celine because let's take a look at this. The shoulder bag, or rather the Triumph shoulder bag in shiny black calfskin. Just, I mean, look at that. <sighs> Let's just sit and admire that for a moment. Oh, she's so pretty. As I mentioned, this is a style I have been eyeing up for months now, but really this goes back to the spring of this year. At the time, there were some other bags on my radar, so the Triumph kind of got put to the back burner a little bit, but then they had their price increase. This was in May of 2022. Now, amongst the slew of different items that were affected in that price increase, the classic, or rather the medium size, and the teen size, which are both very popular within the Triumph collection, both of them did increase. And in a video that I had done, I'll link and above, I did mention that I did not think that they were worth it at the new price. I really struggled, really struggled in saying that because I love the style or rather the design so much. I mean, clearly because I purchased an item in that collection, but I struggled so much with that medium and the teen size. Obviously, I am kicking myself that I did not purchase it before the price increase, but after I really struggled and I said to myself, you know what? No, it may not be worth it, but I, I love it that much. I really, really want it. And so I'm going to purchase it. And so there were points between, I would say, early summer and last week where I would say I'm getting the medium size. I go to buy it or I go to purchase it and something was pulling me back. Or I'd say, you know what, maybe not the medium, maybe the teen size. I go to purchase the teen, but something kept pulling me back. And so just, I kept kind of having this struggle where I would get ready to purchase it, but then something was just telling me, no, don't do it. So fast forward to this last week, and I just was like, okay, I need to make a decision on this. It's either I'm purchasing it or I'm not. And there was a part of me that just, like there was like this little voice that said, look at the shoulder bag. Look at the shoulder bag. Now this is one that this was going back to maybe like midsummer. I had actually seen this in a boutique and Essay was like, hey, have you checked out the shoulder? And I had rolled it out. I had said, nope, it's too small. And just, nope, not even on my consideration list anymore. But I came back to this one and really started to think about it and really started to compare this one versus the teen versus the medium size. In terms of dimensions, I would say that was kind of the first place that I went was in terms of dimensions. The sizes really aren't that different. Now, obviously the shapes are gonna vary a lot. Like this is very much more of like a baguette style of bag. It's very long and rectangular. The others, some of them are a little bit more squarish. So you definitely have the, the sizes or rather the shapes that are different, but the dimensions themselves, you're only varying maybe like an inch or two here, an inch or two there. And so from a capacity standpoint, you know, you could kind of make an argument that you're not going to be able to carry that much more in some of those other bags. But also the other consideration was the strap or rather how you would actually wear the bags. Now looking at the medium and the teen sizes, those ones obviously have the longer strap to where you could wear them either crossbody and I love me a good crossbody. So that is probably how I would wear either of those two bags or you would wear it as a longer shoulder bag. Now for me personally, I am not a huge fan of long shoulder bags. I kind of have to be in the right mood to do that and I'm often not in that mood. So I would wear that more as a crossbody or either size. But kind of thinking back to my collection in particular, kind of looking at some of these pieces behind me, there are other items in my collection that I would grab first for a crossbody bag. And so just kind of thinking through the price increase that I was kind of wishy-washy on, but then also how I would actually end up wearing or using the bag, even though I love the style, don't get me wrong, I love the Triumph style, the design, the vibe that it's giving off, but in terms of those other two kickers, it would probably end up being a piece that just sits on my shelf and just looks pretty versus the shoulder version. Now this is such a great option for a dressier style shoulder bag. And I love this bag because of how sleek it is. She's slender, she is just sexy, like giving off baguette vibes. I mean, just everything about this bag, she is just screaming like 
begging to be taken out for a night on the town, you know, going out for a nice dinner, maybe drinks. And, you know, if you kind of think about it, when you're going out for a nice dinner or for drinks or just being out and about, you don't want a huge bag. You don't want something that's really big and bulky. And so that's where this slender profile just fits that kind of thinking that much better. And so as I was kind of thinking through, well, how would I use the bag? How would I style it? And just kind of thinking through that and comparing it to the other sizes, yeah, the shoulder just kept checking every single box. And once I started to have those revelations about the shoulder bag, that it wasn't gonna be something that was too small, it was almost an immediate reaction. I was like, well, here, like, I'm ready to make the purchase. Here's my credit card, ordered it, it arrived, and I'd never second guess myself. So it's just one of those things. I share that story because I've said this in the past that you really have to listen to your gut. For me, in this case in particular, I could not purchase the medium or the teen size. Nothing against those bags bags and nothing against anyone that has them. It's just for my lifestyle in particular, those were not the bags for me. And I think at my core, I knew that, but that's kind of where I struggled versus once I realized that the shoulder one was really what I wanted. It again, it was like an immediate reaction that yes, I'm going to go ahead and make the purchase. So really just take a moment, listen to yourself. If you're not able to make the purchase, there's probably a reason for it. So you just have to make sure that you're listening to yourself. But for me in particular, I am very excited to now have the shoulder triumph bag in my collection. Anyone else out there having the same predicament I did, just having a really hard time deciding if you wanted the medium or the teen or the shoulder or something else within the triumph collection, pop a comment down below. Let's chat about it. Sharing some general information about this bag, starting off with dimensions. We are looking at eight inches in length, four inches in height, and two inches in depth. Of course, she is very shiny with that shiny calfskin leather. And of course, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous triumph closure here on the front in gold. I will get back to talking about this here in a moment, but wanted to focus here on the strap. Now with this one in particular, this is an all leather strap. There are other versions that have chain straps. For me, I am looking to wear this more year round and I'm just kind of thinking to those warmer months already, thinking to those warmer months where maybe I'm looking to wear something sleek sleeveless or strapless altogether. And I just think that having leather is just going to be that much more comfortable on my shoulder as opposed to something that's in chain. I already have enough chain anyways. So this is just adding some nice variety there. Now, of course, with it being in leather, this is an adjustable strap. So looking here, we do have three different options as far as adjusting the drop on it. If you were to go with the shortest option, you're looking at an eight inch drop here, kind of on the second or middle adjustment, the one that I have it on, this is a nine inch drop right here, or to extend it to its maximum drop of 10 inches, we would just move it to this one here. For me personally, I'm probably going to keep it on the middle as far as that nine inch drop, just because it feels really good here on my side at this length. Let's take a look at the inside of this bag, but first we have to open the clasp. Looking at this gorgeous triumph closure, you'll notice that on both sides, there are two little buttons, but only one of them will actually release it. So this one over here on the right doesn't do anything. That's really just for looks. It's this one over here on the left that when you push the button, it'll release in order to open the flap. Now, there's some of that packing material that I mentioned earlier. So let's get that out of there so that you can see the gorgeous gorgeous all black lambskin leather interior with a back pocket here that actually runs the entire length of the bag. Now, honestly, given the shape or rather the size of this bag, I would not put anything super thick or bulky into this pocket. I may only put something like a valet ticket, maybe a parking garage ticket, or you know, maybe you could fold up some bills and tuck back there as well. But yeah, because anything else is really gonna eat up some of that interior space that you have inside the bag. But aside from that pocket, let's take a look at what else will actually fit inside this bag. And taking this out for a nice dinner or drinks, and knowing this is not gonna carry a ton, I have a variety of small items here to show what will fit and some watch outs. Starting with a cell phone, a card holder, and now for the keys. This six ring key holder will fit but you'll see it takes up a lot of space. If I had to drive, I'd take my car fob out and just put that in there, or better yet, have someone else drive and just leave your keys out entirely. But we'll keep the car fob in here just for reference. Let's put in a lippy, a compact, and a little tin of mints. Now, if you wanted to take this out during the day, a sunglasses case won't fit. 
it's just going to take up all the space. It's too big. It's too bulky. But you could lay your sunglasses right here on top if needed. And she closes. No problem. I am so excited about this bag and this card holder, not only because of how chic and sexy and fun they are, but because of the sentimental value around them and how they just remind me of my dear hubby and our anniversary and the next round of seven years and more to come after that. So of course, if anybody has any questions on either of these two pieces, definitely pop them in the comments section down below. If you're into this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I will catch you in the next one.